my name is Ron. I'm from Havoco, West Virginia. I'm Steven Anderson from Princeton, West Virginia, also known as the Board Dog. I'm about 5'10", weigh about 235. I'm going to take your girl at the end of the night. I might even take your mama too. So even your sister. Where your mom at? She's right here sucking my dick. And get you some of these heavyweights right now. All right, so the real deal, Ronald Smith versus Bulldog Steven Anderson. West, West Virginia versus Princeton, West Virginia. We're Age staying 32 in Princeton. Versus 30. This yeah. one's very yeah. interesting. Ooh, I really like the boy. real deal because he says if you brought your girlfriend, sister, or mother to this event, she would be sucking his dick by the end of the night. Pretty Bulldog, aggressive. on the other hand, is fighting for his grandmother who passed a few months ago. Oh, so which well, one's which? This is the real deal, and this so is the real deal. So real deal is the one who says if your girlfriend comes, she's gonna suck his dick. Your girlfriend, your mother, your okay. sister, any and, female and in your blues life. Blues is fighting for the grandmother. Yes. Notice he, he did leave grandmother out of the dick I, sucking. That's nice. Yeah. I think I think the real deal is already tired. Uh, a little bit. That's a long walk. He's also got it looks like a, maybe a, a wristband from Southern Exposure in his pocket. So maybe oh, he's yeah. at a strip club. That's last a night. lovely ladies entertainment facility near where we stay. Look at the, the real deal. On the I real deal. These little choppy cookie cutter punches up. <laughs> These guys are just swinging right now. Look at that head down. The guy in the beard face saying, "Come on, Grandma, let one of these guide it." Uh oh. He's toe tapping. Yeah, that was good. The real deal. Like that. Footwork on the real deal. We lost the lights. I again. think he might have tapped the lights out. That's. I mean, this is a, this is going on the Richter scale. When the real deal gets tapping, you, you feel it, folks. That is not the Undertaker. That is that's the Barstool it. difference. Oh, that's it. That also, I think the real deal fight. farted in he the corner because it smells so, so bad. So bad. Like that was the, Not even. A the, I think somebody shit their pants I, in that fight. No, the real deal just. Wa I watched it. He he beat his ass. Then he walked over to the corner. He and like kind of sat back and he just let one rip right in our mouth. That's right. I'm here with the real deal. Uh, did you fart in the ring, man? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Bro, it still stinks over there. What did you eat? I don't even know. Yes, you do. What did you eat? <laughs> So I fire some eggs. <laughs> Yo, hold up that check, man. I know you're getting money out here. And yes, you just won, and it was that easy. Was it a simple win, and are you going to maybe change your diet with that money? No, nah, I'm going to still say the same. Brother, that shit is disgusting, man. Maybe go see a doctor. Back to you guys. <laughs> He did. I mean, we knew he farted. <laughs> Didn't even hesitate. He's like, yeah. Of course he farted. I probably ate eggs. <laughs> it was hideous. It was. It, sm it still smells here. Robbie Fox here, rough and rowdy commentator and ringside correspondent. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. New videos every week, and go to watchrnr.com for the latest info on our upcoming events and how to find out how you could be the next fighter in the rough and rowdy ring.